here we go we have got the new zero pump from flex tailgate kickstarter campaign so you've got to go into the link and have a look so what we have here is the old mini pump i say old it is actually quite new but you know oh this one comes in a nice box zero pump they're claiming the weight 1.2 ounces i mean that's that's unreal it's a little bit tight to get out but that's not so bad let's grab it pull it out like that let's move that way zero pump so these are the um the various pumps they've done that's the tiny pump there from last year that's that one and this is the zero smallest and newest right so in the box i love a box you know you get the pump i'll get that right i do love a box i don't know you get a lanyard to keep with you so you can put that on you can attach that there's the whole let you know how it works you get the nozzle and you get the pump just a minute, my knee. Oh, I'm kneeling on my bad knee. Here's the pump there. 1.2 ounces. I mean that. <laughs> There's just nothing to it. So we'll just have a look at what it says about it, right? You get the, the nozzles are all different. To say that, we've had some uh, correspondence saying that the nozzles are gonna send out um, various ones. If you know what I mean. Like they did with the other one, you know, I've got a bag full of them there. All different fittings. This is off the tiny pump. So you get them all to fit. That's the Therma Rest fitting. So they say they're gonna send out them with the new with this once it gets up and running. The finished product sort of thing. This is just like this is just for people to show how how it works and what it's like. So they sent the, um, the size Y1. Okay. So the set has got it written on pump. So that goes on the pump. It has inflate and deflate on, so you can know which way. So that goes on like that. Nice little tight fit. I'm not 100% sure what that bit's for. But you know, probably just to keep it safe with your other stuff. Tie it to that, maybe. So you don't lose everything. Right. I mean, it's a nice little. It's nice. The quality of the finish is lovely. It's all, uh, all very nice to be made. So yeah, so you're going to get multiple nozzles, right? So whatever mat you've got, they'll send the nozzle for it. This one works with the C the summit pad. I'm just going to use that to blow it up. So we'll come back when I get the mat ready. That's it for now. Here we go then. Let's see the summit mat. So you got this big opening here. Put the pump on. And double click it. Ah, I'm setting the timer away here. Start the timer. I don't know if you can hear it. So that took right. <laughs> Apart from me mucking about, so it was probably about 49 seconds. And what I do anyway is I always inflate it low, so then you just add add the uh, extra to your own personal preference. With a couple of blows. 51 seconds that went up. So if I held it on a bit longer, probably about a minute. Well, that's good, isn't it? What we'll do is now uh, deflate it. So you swap the swap the end over. Oh, deflate. 
clear the timer. Deflate away. You can feel the air coming out of there. I threw that down really fast. positives here because that took 33 seconds to deflate it I could wrap that up now don't forget that's a uh, winter mat a big thick winter mat <laughs> so yeah it's good good at deflating and inflating so there's a few little minor things that um, even flex tool have addressed this See the, the battery is a tiny little one. It's inside a tit nozzle off. It comes off. Don't forget these are pre-production items. And you're going 650 MAH. Um what's the voltage? Like 3.7 volt rechargeable battery. So a lot of people are saying this is a negative point. Uh, it, it, it is if you haven't got the charger a lot of people like the um, the USB-C chargers which is a very convenient but they reckon that if they put a USB-C charger in there the pump would have to be bigger for the um, for the works for the electronics and all that so it kind of does away with the 1.2 ounces so the rechargeable battery it works on there's a there's a rechargeable there's a charger on Amazon which fits that and it charges up quite quickly and goes in it goes in that way down like that it's got the spring at the bottom and just put it on see a lot of people are saying that's negative because I haven't got the USB C but I'm not sure Just depends how long it lasts, doesn't it? I'll be trying it in um, on the wild camps, and we'll we'll leave it uncharged. Um, I'll take a backup pump. I'll take the backup, and we'll see how long the battery lasts on charge. There you go, 1.2 grams fit in your pocket, lad. These will be a lot more. Um, better manufactured because these are 3d printed apparently at the minute so there'll be one two three there's four different nozzles apparently so they're gonna they're gonna include all of them with the finished product but to check out the links it takes you to the um it takes you to the page where it tells you all about it and how they hope to develop it and all the rest of it so there you go the flex tail zero pump. I like it, I like little gadgets like that. But I'm like I'm like a few other people. I do prefer a USB C. And you seen you seen how it inflated? That that suit is something mat. That's a that's a four season mat, quite heavy duty that. Huh? 